Hello guys, what's going on? Bitcoin is sitting at 6,227. I'm kind of happy that we're not moving around too much. And in this video, we're going to talk about the question, should I still invest in cryptocurrencies? Should I still invest in Bitcoin? And if you enjoy the content, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below because among everybody who's commenting, I am giving away a small amount of Litecoin. So good luck and let's get into it. When we're talking about Bitcoin, one important thing to know is that many people are dealing with a form of bias, cognitive bias, so-called anchoring. And it's something that comes from pretty much behavioral psychology. And before we get into this a little bias, let Wikipedia explain what a cognitive bias is, right? So a cognitive bias is a systematic pattern of deviation from norm or rationality in judgment rationality is the keyword here because as you know rational decisions are not based on gut feeling they're not based on something that is subjective they are very objective and when it comes to finances you might think that people are really objective and not emotional at all but it couldn't be further from the truth there's almost no other field in economy where people get as emotional as they get in investing stocks etc so what an anchoring anchoring or focalism is a cognitive bias for an individual to rely too heavily on an initial piece of information offered known as the anchor when making decisions when did most people get into cryptocurrencies? If you're watching this video, then you probably got into cryptocurrencies somewhere between, I guess, November and, I don't know, January, end of February. Um, most people got into cryptocurrencies at about that time. And in exactly that time, we have seen the Bitcoin at a price we have never ever seen before so it peaked at almost twenty thousand dollars in december and of course now everybody who's talking about bitcoin has like this gut feeling of oh man this bitcoin thing sure it sounds really cool but the market man is really we're in the bear market right now bitcoin is weak I better not invest right now and what it's like a prime example of anchoring because most of the people who got into Bitcoin, who entered the Bitcoin scene in November, December, and January, have the five-digit price of Bitcoin in mind. They only think about to twenty thousand dollars, and they are not. <laughs> actually, they are aware of the fact, but maybe they, not consciously, subconsciously, they are. Um, that a year ago, what is today is tw August twenty-first. Um, a year ago, Bitcoin was sitting at like $4,000 and right now we are at 6,500 US dollars. Guys, if you take a look at the long term moving averages of more than six months, you'll see that we are still above the moving average um, if you are into technical analysis. So depending on uh, the time frame you're looking at, we're not even in a bear market. So in my opinion, something that you should know, because everything in this video is, of course, my opinion and not financial advice. Um, when investing into Bitcoin or any other currency, asset, stock or whatever, people who got rich off of something, they didn't get rich because they invested in it when everybody else was investing. They invested into something where they saw an opportunity before others have seen it. So they invested into something where nobody believed in it. They invested into something where when it was very cheap, when it was low. And by this, I'm not saying guys invest in Bitcoin right now because everybody should make their own decisions if they are comfortable investing into Bitcoin right now. You have seen that it's highly volatile as fast as Bitcoin can go up. It can also go down. So make a little budget. How much money do you earn? How much money do you spend on uh, rent, food, electricity, phone, internet? Um, try to think of everything. Try to think of everything, even your clothes. And then at the end of the end of the month, if you have some left, do you want to put it in a safe account? Do you want to put it into stocks? Do you want to put it into real estate? Or do you want to put it into cryptocurrencies? Now, 
as tempting as cryptocurrencies are, you have to be aware of the fact that you should have a balanced portfolio. So you have some of that stuff, maybe in bonds, maybe in real estate, and then a little bit more risky, you have some stocks, and then it, the really risky stuff is when you're investing into cryptocurrencies. And the younger you are, the more you can actually invest into cryptocurrencies. If you right now um, lack the money to invest into cryptocurrencies, get a second job, like, uh, spend less there is a guy who's living in sleeping in his car in a friend's garage just so he can save money so he can invest more into cryptocurrencies and i mean this is really an extreme example of extreme human determination but these are all the factors you have to take into consideration when investing into cryptocurrencies and with this, I'm really gonna end this rant. So what do you think about the current Bitcoin price? Are you still going to invest something right now? Or are you going to wait that it will go down a bit more? Let me know in the comment section down below. And something really interesting that might happen very soon is the ETF. I'm not talking about the SEC ETF. I mean, the CBOE ETF that is going to be um, issued um, actually not not issued but that's going to get a decision in september i'm talking about the issue the um, etf pair of pro shares two etfs are due to thursday so i'm really interested in what the reaction of the market will be once the etfs have been issued or rejected um in any case i'm not a big fan of the etf i mean of course institutional money Maybe we'll go to a moon for a few days. Maybe so the one or the other Lambo will appear. However, um, big institutions will all of a sudden have a lot of Bitcoin and be able to um, have voting rights. They will be able to decide on Forex um, and not the shareholders who are buying those Bitcoin because they're not the owners of the private keys. They can't send them. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So um, still, I think that the ETFs are going to happen maybe they're going to happen this year maybe not who knows but in any case i am pretty sure that they are going to happen because there's a big demand for them there's a great hunger of the institutional investors for etf so yeah in my opinion they're going to happen good news cute koala australians are able to pay with bitcoin for their taxes and this is how it's, how it looks like every step going towards mainstream adoption is a good step so good job living room of satoshi and for the end of this video, we're going to talk about something that Roger, Roger Veer did. As you can see, this wasn't a discussion. I think this is Reddit. And somebody said, very naughty and misleading websites. When I click on the BCH exchange price on top, it shows the Bitcoin core graph, not the Bitcoin cash price. All the statistics and graphs show are BTC. Very confusing for new Commerce who assumed to buy the Bitcoin they saw on TV and you have to know that while Roger Veer was one of the first big investors and supporters in Bitcoin or Bitcoin core how he calls it right now he is kind of a big enemy of Bitcoin core and tries to do everything in the book to make Bitcoin cash become the coin that comes off on top and uh, he ha or actually bitcoin bitcoin.com has been doing stuff like as you say as you have seen list the price of bitcoin as bitcoin cash what so he's actually um even admitting this we are working on fixing all the things and promoting bitcoin cash as bitcoin it takes time to update everything though Wow, what the heck is going on? This is Roger Rear, entrepreneur of Bitcoin.com. Just thought that I would sh I should share this with you guys. So let me think. What do you think about this screenshot? And now, of course, like at every end of the video, I'm going to give away a small amount of Litecoin and uh, 24 likes and zero dislikes. That's really really great for me, guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that and all the comments and the discussion underneath the comments so who's the winner let's see who's gonna get picked it's gonna be awkward if i pick one of the comments that has been from discussion um some good points about crypto market projects not necessarily covered by other crypto youtubers thanks the umpire strikes back interesting name and 
you are the winner of this two dollar and fifty cents in litecoin who knows what they will be worth one day hope that you're gonna get something from them maybe a coffee maybe a protein shake or maybe house one day who knows but in any case thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any video hit that subscription box and the bell the like button and whatever share it with your dog with your cat with your grandma whatever and everything in this video is on personal opinion and not financial advice and thanks for watching bye bye